Korea. And uh, it's not just about, they can also finish whole degree in Thailand and as well as partial degree over there. So it's very good opportunity, uh, very uh, cost effective as well. So I'll uh, uh, leave it to uh, Steve so he can proceed with the presentation and also give this some information about how wonderful it, this pathway is. Please. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, Shaz. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you for the opportunity to speak today. Um, I think before I go on, uh, let me just get the, the organization of the, the sharing of the screen so I can share the screen with you. Um, sure you can see that okay. Is everybody okay? Is that is that coming through okay? I presume so. Okay, so look, fantastic opportunity as, as the introduction today is about, uh, we're here to talk about the University of Newcastle, Australia. Uh, what is unique about our offering here is the opportunity to study for a world-class business education from University of Newcastle, not in Australia, but initially in other locations and specifically Thailand and Indonesia. And, and that's really what I'm here today to talk to you a bit about. I, my name is Stephen Healy. I'm the co-founder and managing director of an organization called Nurture Higher Education Group. We are the partner for the University of Newcastle in operating these programs around the ASEAN region. So we operate the program in Thailand, Indonesia, and we hope when we come back into a wonderful new year in 2021, we'll be able to talk about a pro, um, the program operating also in Vietnam, which we'll be very, very delighted to announce to you. But really today is, is an opportunity to talk about the credentials of the programs we're running um, in Thailand um, and in um, Asia. Thailand yeah. specifically. So we operate the program. Um, am I coming through okay there? Shiaz, everyone can hear me okay? One, we'll be able to talk about our pro, um, the program. I'm getting a bit of feedback coming back. Yeah, uh, we, we can hear you very well. Okay, no problem. Very good. So just talking a little bit of credentials of Newcastle Business School, um, world-class business school. The university's ranked, I think it's in the top 200, 197 in the QS rankings, but specifically the business school programs are leading. They have all of the accreditations that you would expect of a business school program. And students studying on our program, whether they be in Australia or in Indonesia or in Thailand, will still be getting the same award and the same certificate that you would get when you study in, in Australia. So really, one of the things talking today about is really everybody, it's on the lips of everyone's um, conversations about the pandemic and the impact of COVID. Otherwise, Obviously, many students want to go around the world and go study in Australia. At the moment, that's currently not, hasn't been possible in the last year, and it may continue into the next year. So I think whilst there's all of this uncertainty, we think our programs offer quite a unique opportunity. If you, I think some of you watching on Facebook now, uh, go on and look at our UN UTCC Facebook page. You'll see that the activities we are doing in Thailand are not online. Students are doing activities, living a normal campus experience and doing lots of business networking um, events that we, we like to provide out of the program. So whilst everyone talks about the new normal, certainly we're able to operate a little bit of the old normal here in Thailand. So in that context, the programs we offer in Thailand allow for all options. And obviously in a world where increasingly borders are closed, I think our programs offer those options of being able to transfer. Either you can complete um, the entire four years for an undergraduate program in Thailand, or you can transfer. Um, and really that's all to, up to you to decide whether it's your budget, according to your budget and how you want to operate. But before I proceed anymore, I thought it would be quite good to show you a video. I hope the video will come through okay, but it gives you a little bit of a, a visual re recognition of the programs we're currently operating in Thailand. I have some videos to show later of Indonesia, but 
Our programs in Indonesia, Indonesia application into Indonesia at the moment is unclear, borders remain closed, but we are taking applications in Thailand where actually you can enter Thailand. Um, and as my colleague Shayaz said at the beginning, I've just come through the quarantine period and now in Thailand okay. So actually I'm testimony of it being accessible and able to enter into Thailand um, as you go. But before I go on, let's show the video and you can get a little bit of an idea of what the student experience looks like. And as I say, this is not currently compromised by anything in terms of COVID, unlike um, the situation in Australia. So let me play the video and see how we go. Um, I don't know if there's a problem there. <laughs> I'm from Thailand. I'm a third year student in UTCC SM. And I'm doing it to the group program with the University of Newcastle. I have the gold scholarship and I'll be graduate two years. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm 18. I'm half British, half Thai. Today we're here to talk about a university. Would you like to show them around? The university? Of course. Let's go. We're here in the 21st building. This is where we have our lounge and our classes. Also here we do the two degree program. Orissa, could you tell me more about the two degree program? Of course. So the two degree program, which is like the collaboration of UTCC ISM and the University of Newcastle, give opportunity to students to learn like four years and graduate with the two degrees. Studying the two degree program for four years, you don't have to attend Australia, but here in Bangkok. You may have the option to go to the ceremony in Australia. UN offers two measures, which is a competency and BBA for the students. We have modern classroom, which is very colorful with the blue and yellow colors, and it makes like the student more relaxed when they study. After class, they also have um, activities that they can do, such as like soccer, and also can go to the gym or the fitness. We also have clubs such as English club, dance club, e-commerce club. What's so special about the program? Um, well, I'm really proud of the programs that we've got here at UTCC because they offer students a brilliant curriculum um, alongside a lot of extra opportunities. So it's about making the most of the degree. So it's about having a high status and really great university reputation from UON and also then benefit from the different alumni networks and employability opportunities that you get from being associated with both universities and with Gold Business Education, I think is really unique. How teachers and mentors support their students? Well, I think as every student would expect, you get loads of support here at UTCC. Every student is, is really important to us. But as part of the UON programme, we also have additional support through mentoring, where they uh, get to work together and, and spend time together and really feel part of a UON community. But we also do additional support around study skills, how to network and how to improve your CV. So a lot of the kind of add-on extra value things that sometimes get missed in curriculums um, that we provide through the mentor sessions throughout the year. So now let's go meet our UTCC UN friends. Let's, let's go. go. Sawadika, you need to welcome everyone to UTCC ISM. Ka. My name is Nam. I'm the freshman here. I study in UON 2 degree program. So welcome you guys to UTCC ISM. Welcome to UTCC ISM. Hello guys, my name is Mesa. I'm currently a second year student, majoring in innovation and entrepreneurship. Ninglawa, Sanawara Sanjitewa Naima. 
Hello, I am Sandeep. I'm a third year BBA student studying the TCC and new and two degree program. Priyada, welcome to UTCC, the two degree program in Bangkok. I'm Maria and I'm from South Africa. Xin chào, xin chào, xin chào. Chào mừng mọi người đến với trường UTCC. Hello, my name is Stephanie. I'm a change this old. I'm home from Vietnam. I'm the first year student. I'm the student of UTCC, two and two degree program. Welcome you guys to UTCC. Bye bye. UTCC ISM. Hello guys, my name is Pepoy Luong Sukun. I am a first year student. I study the two degree program which is UON and the UTCC. And welcome you guys to UTCC. Thank you. Bienvenue at UTCC. Uh, my name is Guy. I'm a first year student studying in the two degree program. And uh, welcome to UTCC. Bonjour. Bienvenue à UTCC ISM. My name is Jackie. I'm a second year student, currently taking the two degree UN program, and I'm majoring in innovation and entrepreneurship. Welcome to UTCC ISM. To make sure, to unsmack on UTCC ISM. My name is Kao Yushi. I'm from Cambodia. I'm currently a second year student taking a two degree program of UON, major in innovation and entrepreneurship. Welcome to UTCC ISM. Hey, you welcome to UTCC ISM. My name is Eric, and I study in UTCC and Newcastle double degree program. You know, I'm a coffee lover, so I really need coffee every time of the day. And like, it's a very convenient for me to have like coffee shops around at every corner of the university. I prefer the food around there. There's an amazing food fair where you can get many, many different types of food at very, very cheap prices. What do you do after school? Well, I usually stay very late at school to do my presentation and like mostly big projects until like 10 p.m. something like that. Is it safe? Yeah, I'm sure, because like, like so, since you're, you live around the university. Well, you know, we have like a lot of dormitories and apartments around the school, especially for students. Uh, we're here to ask you how to open. I am the scholarship benefits that we have in the here. The process is very, very convenient for all the students. You can download the application form or you can walk into our office and then get application form from us. So after you download the application form, you fill it and you send it back to us with your high school and, and a certificate and also IELTS or any English that you have taken before and send it to us by email. We also giving out the scholarship for the students to help them. So we are giving out uh, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum scholarships for those students who wants to get this kind of chance to study with us. What I like about the school is it's very central. We can go to the MRT, bus terminals, highway, and we'll be easily connected to the city. What do you like doing in Asia? So hopefully I like to go to the Nine Market, the famous Nine Market. Nine Market. Like we call it like Trend Nine Market. And there's a lot of food. It's kind of like street food. It's so good. That's it from us. If you have anything else you would like to ask, please contact us down below. Thank you and bye bye. I hope that's given everybody a, a picture of the offering. Uh, and I think, you know, it's, as they say in life, seeing is believing often. And I think when we talk about the program being offered in Thailand, particularly when I've been around the regions around the world, people are unable to visualize what it would look like. So I hope actually having our actual students, Alex and Arissa, who are doing the program, actually explain the program they're not actors they're actually students on the program gives people an idea because many people say to me oh well, will the programs be in english how will it be delivered who are the lecturers and i hope that gives you a visual image of the campus the programs it's in the center of bangkok so you are accessible to all aspects of you know city living within bangkok so it's not one of these campuses where you are studying maybe 30 minutes away from the city center. And so that's very much the offer there. Uh, talking about the programs, just reiterating some of the, the things that came out on the video. 
very much we we are operating undergraduate programs there and also we will have postgraduate programs the semesters are the semester starts are normally august each year or january so we're currently taking applications for students to come in january um, students are able because of the covid situation to enroll online and actually and then come when when they're suiting suited so some students for this academic in studying online but a lot of students well most 99 percent of our students are all on campus at the moment um, and studying the programs the programs are operatingly currently in a normal mode some of the classes are online but students are on campus attending class seeing each other and living a normal student experience the programs we offer are very much we talk about the two degrees so students on this program get two awards two sets of transcripts two certificates if you complete the whole plan you will get the same un uh, australia award as if you went to australia to study but obviously as colleagues said you also have the full transfer options you can transfer after one two three years if you wish it's up to you um and obviously for that for those i think our colleagues at blue sky will be able to advise if the ultimate ambition is to live and work in australia you would need to study for two years in australia to qualify for post-study work so we often say using to studying the program for two years and transferring for two years to complete the bachelor's or even doing all four years for two bachelor's awards and then going to australia for a two-year master's are actually good routes and very affordable routes towards studying that the two specialisms we have is the bba and the bachelor of business specialism and then the accounting and commerce specialism so whether you want to study a mainstream business program or you want to focus on the more quantitative side with the numbers around finance and accounting we offer those programs to students we talk very much about the benefit of the program being what we call one two three one program of study one set of tuition two awards but what we call three networks um, that focus on enhancing your employability so you'll have heard within the video the students there talking about the mentoring sessions which come through our organization called goal business education within this context but as students graduate through the program they'll be an alumni member of course of the local university the thai chamber of commerce as well as the university of newcastle australia and goal business education i won't talk too much about the majors but the bba you'll see that the the awards there are the major has two different names it's because you are getting the actual award from thailand and from australia so this is not what we call a joint certificate where somebody creates two logos onto one certificate you're getting the official thai degree which is a bachelor of business administration like any other student here in thailand which is the approved program which is recognized around the world but likewise the australian award is not a bachelor of business administration it's a bachelor of business which is the same award that you would get in australia and likewise in the accountancy finance side it's a bachelor of accountancy from the thai award and a bachelor of commerce um, from U university of newcastle australia so very much you know what are the six areas you know we have on offer and it's worth emphasizing this and again reiterating it because many students and parents ask me this it is the same award the un the newcastle australia award does not say bangkok does not say jakarta does not say thailand it is the same award that you would get in australia so very much if you study the entire program here in thailand or in indonesia you would actually be able to fly to the graduation event at Newcastle because the, your name as a student would be read out with all of the other graduating cohort from that year's um, uh, graduating cohort. So very much students, we often say, are open to three graduation events. One is the local university in Thailand's graduation ceremony. Of course, we will host a graduation ceremony for Newcastle graduates here in Thailand and that will be hosted normally at the ambassador's residence the Australian ambassador's residence um, but also you can fly to Australia so three different events as I say the most important thing in these uncertain times is Thailand is actually open subject to currently a 15-day quarantine on entry you're actually able to then as I as I say I think I completed my 15-day quarantine two days ago so I can, I'm now able to freely um, 
operate and move around and go onto campus and and live live life in Thailand. And you know, the process requires a lot of paperwork, which I can talk about later. But it's eminently possible to to come here. And there's lots of myths around that, and I'm happy to answer any questions around the process of entering into Thailand. As we mentioned, students can transfer. You know, one, they can complete the entire program, but they have the options to transfer if they wish to go. But as I say, it's always worth reminding people if the ultimate goal is to work and live in Australia, then actually to make sure that your transfer option involves at least two years of study at UON to ensure that you qualify for the post-study work rights. We think the program's highly affordable. We know that the, the fees are quoted in Thai baht, but approximately it's just under 9,000 US dollars. So about 11, 12,000 Australian dollars um, annual tuition. So for the whole program, we quoted it around about 36,000 US dollars for the whole program, if you were to do the whole program here. Obviously that compares to studying in Australia where the actual credit load would equate to around about 30,000 Australian dollars. So it's around about a third of the price in tuition. But the more interesting thing about living and studying, whether it's in Thailand or even in Indonesia, is the tuition may be one third of the fees in Australia, but the living costs are around about one sixth to one seventh of the living costs in, um, in Australia. So it's a highly affordable option, both in terms of tuition, but also lifestyle for the students. You saw in the video earlier, students are living in some very nice apartments, depending on what their budget is, they can get a more standard dormitory, but I know certainly some students are living in, you know, one, two bedroom apartments, if, that, if that's really where, where they wish to be. Um, scholarships, we do have some scholarships available and happy to talk about that in the video. Um, we mentioned um, bronze, silver, gold scholarships. They equate to anywhere around about a thousand uh, US dollars going up to about three and a half, four thousand dollars off the fees, depending on, on the applicant's background and their English language levels. So we're, we're open to, to hearing that. One of the interesting things for us is we will admit students without one of the international English language tests. So if a student wants to apply to our program, we actually are offering at the moment a free Pearson Versant test. So based on an applicant applying to us, we will give that applicant if they don't have an English test score of an international um, um, tests such as IELTS or PT Academic or TOEFL, we will actually pay for them to do the Pearson Versant test, which they can sit at their desktop at their home and we can get the result in two to three hours and actually um, make an offer based on that. The entry point is we're looking for students with um, the equivalent of IELTS 5.0 to come into the program. But as I say, one of the attractions is they don't necessarily need to undergo the sitting of a formal IELTS, TOEFL or PTE if they don't have that test. We can provide the, the, the voucher for a Versant test. I won't dwell too much about it, but I talked about the ranking and reputation of the University of Newcastle. Certainly within the context of Thailand, it is the highest ranked world university um, award that you can study for in Thailand, higher than any of the of the other Thai universities. Un University of Newcastle's rankings 197, which makes it the highest ranked program available in Thailand. And again, just reminding colleagues, because everyone keeps asking me the same thing. I sometimes have parents come to me and say, ah, but I know this is too good to be true. So the students, when they graduate, must wear different colors to the graduation of the Newcastle graduates. And very much, again, the answer is no, you can graduate in Newcastle with the rest of that year's Bachelor of Business, Bachelor of Commerce cohort. So very much you can do the ultimate, which is study and live in Bangkok, do the entire program, and then get on a plane and spend two weeks in the Hunter Valley, go along to the graduation event at Newcastle and see, go to the graduation ceremony. It literally is the same award and the same degree. I want to talk a little bit about the program in Indonesia that we offer. Borders at the moment currently, we believe very excitingly that in the next couple of weeks that they will announce um, various changes in border, border control in Indonesia. That's what our colleagues tell us um, there. Uh, we have a similar model of the partnership, obviously with a different local university compared to Thailand. But again, it's the same principles where we offer the Bachelor of Business and the Bachelor of Commerce in Jakarta at Binus University. 
Now, what's interesting about Venice University in Jakarta is a very large university. I think they're ranked seven in the country. Uh, they're the number one private university in Indonesia, but a large scale university that interestingly also has the AACSB Business School accreditations of the University of Newcastle. And, uh, and for those of you who understand business education, that is not an easy accreditation to get. So the, the interesting aspect of the program in Indonesia is students will get two, obviously two degrees similar to, to um, Thailand, but also in this case, two AACSB accredited business school awards. Again, fees are slightly sim slightly more expensive there for international students, around about 40,000 US dollars uh, for the whole four year program, but a similar four year program, but offering all of the transfer options for students as they go, go along. Uh, but again, a similar principle there. So very much we're, we're able to offer this unique opportunity in Thailand, which we're taking applications now, where you can enter and we're also taking applications for Indonesia but at the moment there's still a little bit of uncertainty about um, border and entry there so it's something we're we're focusing less on within this presentation so we have a video for it but I think I will leave that for another time until we can talk more explicitly about Indonesia but those are resources which we can make available to you um, and to students on request basically so again, similar, similar issue. Again, the program we're running in Indonesia would make it the highest ranked world university award, but you're able to study in Indonesia better than any of the, the local university awards in terms of university world rankings. Um, so that's really a little Hi, bit- Hi, my name is Justin. I don't want to too much there. Here. Here. But that gives you an idea of the various various um, students we have studying in Indonesia as, as, well, as well as Thailand. I won't dwell too much on that. That's just a reiteration of the key points in Thailand. Really at this stage, I kind of wanted to open it up to some questions. Um, I talked generally about that. I can speak more specifically about the Thai options um, and specifically if you wish about the quarantine. I, I haven't been able to open up into the Q&A and see the questions. But, um, but I can look at that now. But if there are some immediate questions you would like to ask me, I'll, I'll be happy to answer those. Let me have a look at the Q&A to see. Uh, I'm just going, what are the work rights? Shall I just go through the questions that I can see in the chat box? I think I will do that. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, thank you from Abul, Abdul in Hyderabad. I can see a question for you about the work rights and part-time work opportunities in Thailand. At the moment, students would enter on a student visa coming in and technically there are not work rights in there. You can do internships where companies pay, um, um, you know, travel, living allowances, and so on, but that under a student visa, you are not able to work and earn money. So unlike um, Australia, where you can study part-time and earn income, um, that's not currently possible in, um, in Thailand. Students have various interesting ways to develop around it, but very much you would be violating your, your student visa. But certainly within, within the program, there are internships with big companies such as Accenture, Pricewater, PwC and other, other companies. So very, very good internship programs that we offer. But I think also because the living costs and the tuition and fee is so much lower, we're able to actually say, you know, focus on your studies while whilst you're here. And then, you know, because you have to be earning a lot of a lot of part-time dollars in order to make up the difference in saving that you would be getting from studying in Thailand. Um, I'm just going through some questions. How much time will it take for the processing? For the processing of uh, the visa? Processing for the application like offer letter and then confirmation enrollment and as well as the visa. I think, I think from the actual application, if the student has very clear academic background, high school awards, and has their English test, we can make an offer within 24 hours for sure. So it really depends on whether they have all of their paperwork. Um, obviously the advantage we have is if the student doesn't actually 
have an English score, we can give them a Versant score and a Versant code based on looking at their application and their background. And they can, we can get the English score from the Versant test within four hours and make an offer. So very much we can get the paperwork process for students who have the right um, and clear academic backgrounds that we can, we can assess. I'm just seeing if there are um, any other questions. The graduation ceremony in Australia, as I said, there will be graduation ceremonies in Thailand and Australia, and it's up to students whether which one they choose. Obviously, the, the graduation ceremony in Australia would involve them buying an air ticket, traveling and so on, but certainly students can attend that. If students cannot fly to Australia, then of course there is a graduation graduation ceremony, not one graduation ceremony, but two graduation events in Thailand. One for the UTCC award, but also one for the UN award. I've just asked to say, is there, is there any financial need to submit and what are the chances for visa? Visa application, pretty much you have to demonstrate you have the fees to pay, you, sorry, you have the financial means to pay for your fees. Obviously, unlike going to study in Australia, that's not as significant in terms of savings and income to demonstrate that, but it's going through the normal process of, of demonstrating that you have the finances family to, to afford the annual fees when you apply for your visa. Um, I'm just looking at further question about the Versant test. Versant test, very straightforward. You make an application on our application if we believe you're eligible for the program. And, and basically the only thing missing is your English test score. We will email you or message you the actual code for you to be able to log on to the Pearson site, type in your code and you take the test. I'm not quite clear on the question about how much gap is acceptable after year 12. Yes, uh, I mean, in GD criteria for the Australia, Steve, they ask for the one year gap only after year 12, then only they can apply, but uh, for the Thailand, so is there any criteria like that? There, there's not a specific criteria for us. So we will look at students who have had a gap. I, I, yeah, I now understand the question. We've had students come um, from Nepal who have had some gaps as long as, you know, there is a clear understanding of what they've been doing in that period. I, there is not a, a strict requirement that, you know, there is no gap or it's within one year of high school and so on. So on our undergraduate program, we have students obviously who are in the sort of 17, 18, 19 age group, but we also have, you saw in the video, we have some European students like Eric from Sweden, who is 27 years old, who began the program when he was, I think, 20, 25 years old, so a gap. Um, is certainly there and, and as I say, you can see it in the video that are actual students who, who have kind of done other things but then come back to higher education and doing the bachelor's program. I'll see a question here about the cost of the quarantine. I'll just show on the slides here um, how it works in, in Thailand is interesting on the quarantine and I can talk very much about the personal experience. Uh, they talk about what they call ASQ, Alternative State Quarantine. It's very interesting. If you, if you Google ASQ in Thailand, it's basically, there is a whole range of choice. It's basically a consumer's dream in terms of budgets and allocations. But the lowest price quarantine package for the 15 days where you will get two COVID tests, uh, you, will, you will have three meals a day, um, broadly, I think is around about a thousand US dollars for 15 days accommodation and full meal and board. If you want to stay in a very, very nice, plush, swanky place, you can buy 15 day quarantine packages going up to maybe even 5,000 US dollars. So if you have the budget, you can maybe get a pool villa by the riverside and have your own swimming pool and do your quarantine. But unfortunately for many of us, that's not realistic. But I would say to budget for about a thousand US dollars for the quarantine package. There are currently 125 different options of how you book your quarantine ASQ. So it's really, really lots of different choices depending on what students want. But very much without boring you about the process for, for ap applying, 
the process of getting a visa here is almost three key stages. One is obviously make an application to us. If we can make you an offer, you will then get the paperwork to be able to apply for a visa with the Thai embassy in your country. When you get granted a student visa from the Thai embassy, you would then go to the next stage to apply for what they call, and you can see on the slide, a COE, a certificate of entry. So you only get a COE after you've been issued the visa. So you need to get your visa, then apply for your COE. The COE is an online process. I've done it myself. I've looked at Facebook pages where many people complain about the COE process. But when I look at the complaints, it looks like they have the process wrong. Because I see many people saying, I cannot get my COE. I'm going to miss my flight and I'm not going to be able to get my visa. Yeah. Well, basically, you should not apply for a COE until you have the visa. Visa comes first, COE comes second. And then after the COE, you then confirm and book your flights. And you need to take a COVID test 72 hours prior to departure. And that, that's how it works. That's how I did it. I entered Thailand on a business visa, but the process is the same for a student visa, which is visa first, COE second, finalize your booking and your tests after you get your COE. And that, and that very simply is the process. And then obviously when you get your COE, you then book your alternative state quarantine package and make all of those payments. But I see a lot of people complaining about the COE and saying that they've lost the, the payment they've made for the, the state quarantine or they've lost the fees on their, their flight bookings. And very much you should not be confirming and paying for those until you get the COE, which is an online process. I hope that answers that question. Yes. It does. Thank you, uh, Steve. I think most of the questions were answered. Okay. And it was, I hope that uh, they, uh, our offices and also the, some of the person, they have taken the note of the uh, UCC. And it's uh, in, uh, by looking at the slides, I can just say like, uh, it's a one third fees if compared from studying in Australia at University of Newcastle campus and studying at the UCC campus in Thailand. So it's almost a one third difference of the tuition fees. So if the student uh, study two years in Thailand and then making a progression to the Australia, so that's a very easier way. And as uh, Steve mentioned that the gap is all accepted. So there's no, no problem by the gap will be accepted in the UCC. Uh, so we're going to check the overall application and uh, the student can also save a lot of money and he can study two years in Australia can also still be eligible for post study work visa. So there's a good, lot of good things about it. So I hope if anyone if you have any student who cannot make to the Australia, uh, there's a definitely an alternate option for them UCC. They can study in the Thailand and the Bangkok campus and then they can after completing two years of study of their proven that they have done a successful good job. They can uh, definitely easily can be transferred to the Australia for the final two years of study. So uh, I'll take uh, I'll thanks uh, Steve for his uh, mm -hmm. Uh, his time and uh, his enthusiasm are the UCC and will uh, our team will definitely work on it uh, and see how we can support the UCC and the student can study in the Thailand. Yeah, absolutely. So if there are any questions, I think the key thing there is, is that email address up there. So if the team or, you know, anyone would like to ask any questions, do email us. There's, there's the admissions team who can answer that. I hope, you know, in the coming months, we can show you more around Indonesia and talk about yes. the process for entry into Definitely. Indonesia, which I know for many of your officers and your colleagues would be slightly more attractive in terms yes, of- Yes, and one thing I would like to let you know, Steve, that I got the information package, uh, that information package are over a two GB. So if you can ask your team, create a uh, material which is uh, not that huge, two point uh, something GB that uh, that uh, that was, that was <laughs> actually was too much. It took longer time for download. And it's not that we can send something in an email to the, our offices and things. So if the something can be a bit more compact uh, and uh, the compressed file can be sent it 